And so overall, day one, 10 out of 10, Tustin. <laughs> What's good, people? Welcome to day two. All right, so a little recap of yesterday. First day, teachers report back. Yesterday, we started out with um, a couple of icebreakers. Then we did some housekeeping, a lot of clerical things. And to be honest, every district has to do these kinds of things. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a district thing. <laughs> Got some bonding time with my team. We walked to lunch just down the street, had some delicious poke, came back. We did another little get to know you icebreaker thing. We all got together in these groups of 14 and then some of the cheer squad came in and they taught us a TikTok. <laughs> Then we got some more time with our teams to go over these things called unit planners. Does your school do unit planners? Go through and plan out our units of study to make sure that they're aligned with standards and give us you know, a good compass. In theory, fantastic practice. We should be doing stuff like this. In practice, a little more challenging for an elective. And so overall, day one, 10 out of 10, Tustin. I love what you're doing here, and I felt so welcomed and so just loved. I, I had a, just an incredible first day. When I got home, I saw Mrs. N, and I, the first thing that I said was, it felt like home. Like, I haven't felt that way in a long, 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 long time. Just felt it felt like home. Everybody was so welcoming. There was no ego. Everybody just was focused on the student. No agenda. It was, it was just, it was great. The admin here are so supportive of teachers. I'm going to do a video soon about the differences between elementary and, um, and secondary middle school and high school. There's a huge difference. And I've been trying to really find a way to articulate that. And um, I think yesterday really cemented it for me. Anyways, the admin here, such a well-planned and well-executed PD yesterday. It was, it was very, very much appreciated by me. Day two, we are coming together as a district at one of the high schools in their auditorium. But um, they gave us the option of live streaming it from our classes at school if we wanted to. I opted for that. I don't know, like there's this Delta going around and seemed like a recipe for disaster to me. Plus, it'll give me some time to do some things around school and uh, in my classroom. Not trying to be antisocial, you guys. Okay, so this is supposed to start in three minutes. So they're live streaming it on um, YouTube and this is, what they got going on here. There are two thumbs up, only 76 people watching. We got the incredible George Kuros coming to do a keynote for this thing. And um, if you guys don't know George, he is an incredible author and speaker. A few years ago, we got him to come and Zoom with our fourth graders and he didn't disappoint. He's the author of The Innovator's Mindset and he has just some really great community thoughts in his head about school and education. One of the best speakers I've ever seen. Wonder where the thermostat is in this class. Is there no thermostat in here? Holy cow. Oh, here we go. Zone nine. All right, so I got a new table for our set over here. Messy as but <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning up to do. There's a lot of stuff in here. It happens, accumulates over time, you know? I'm gonna try to put this table together while I watch the keynote.
Okay, you guys, check this out. There's this room inside my room that nobody had a key for. The guy that was in here before me, he's like, I've never been in there before. And then I've gotten the principal in here. The uh, I've had so many people in here and they all tried their key, could not get into this room. So there's this little like alcove right here, right? That's where the, my teacher desk is. And there's a room right here. You could see it kind of sticks out. It looks like it'd be a closet, right? So we come over here, I get the head of uh, facilities. He comes over and he tries it and he's like, I got it. He opens it up. Look at all of this stuff in here. You guys, it's like a treasure chest, the video equipment. And it's been sitting in here for years. No one has touched it. Unbelievable.